Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. Question says, the following table gives production yield per hectare of wheat of 100 farms of a village. This is the given table. Change the distribution to a more than type distribution and draw it so jive. First of all, let us understand what is an ojive. Representing cumulative frequency distribution graphically is known as ojive. An ojive can be of two types. It can be of more than type and of less than type. Now we will use this information as our key idea to solve the given question. Let us now start with the solution. Now first of all we will change the given distribution to a more than type distribution. So here we can write production yield. in kilogram per hectare and here we can write number of farms. Now this is the given distribution. Now try to find out how many farms have production yield more than or equal to 50. Clearly we can see all farms have production yield more than or equal to 50. And we know total number of farms is equal to 100. As this is the data for 100 farms of a village. Now here we can write production yield more than or equal to 50. And number of farms is equal to 100. Now we will find out how many farms have production yield more than or equal to 55. Now clearly we can see there are two farms having production yield in the class interval 50 to 55. This means that there are 100 minus 2 farms having production yield more than or equal to 55 and 100 minus 2 is equal to 98. So we get number of farms having production yield more than or equal to 55 is equal to 98. Now we will find out number of farms having production yield more than or equal to 60. Clearly we can see number of farms having production yield more than or equal to 60 is equal to 98 minus 8. That is 90. We know 98 farms have production yield more than or equal to 55. And 8 farms have production yield in the interval 55 to 60. Now this production yield is less than 60. So we will subtract 8 farms from 98 to get number of farms having production yield more than or equal to 60. Now similarly we can find number of farms having production yield more than or equal to 65. We know 90 farms have production yield more than or equal to 60 and 12 farms have production yield in the interval 60 to 65. Now this production yield is less than 65. So we will subtract 12 farms from 90 to get 
नंबर ऑफ फार्म्स हैविंग प्रोडक्शन यील्ड मोर देन और इक्वल टू 65 एंड वी नो 90 माइनस ट्वेल्व इज इक्वल टू 78 सो नंबर ऑफ फार्म्स हैविंग प्रोडक्शन यील्ड मोर देन और इक्वल टू 65 इज इक्वल टू 78 Now we will find how many farms have production yield more than or equal to 70 We know 78 farms have production yield more than or equal to 65 and 24 farms have production yield in the interval 65 to 70 Now this production yield is less than 70 so number of farms having production yield more than or equal to 70 is equal to 78 minus 24 which is further equal to 54 now let us find out number of farms having production yield more than or equal to 75 they are 54 minus 38 that is 16 we know 54 farms have production yield more than or equal to 70 and 38 farms have production yield in the interval 70 to 75 now this production yield is less than 75 so we will subtract 38 farms from 54 to get number of farms having production yield more than or equal to 75 now this is the required more than type distribution and number of farms here represents the cumulative frequency now clearly we can see these are the lower limits of the given class intervals now to draw an ogive we will plot these lower limits on x axis and the corresponding cumulative frequencies on y axis now this graph shows cumulative frequency on y axis and the lower limits on x axis now we will plot the points corresponding to ordered pairs given by lower limit corresponding cumulative frequency that is we will plot the points 50 100 100 Fifty-five, ninety-eight, sixty-five, seventy-eight, seventy, fifty-four, and seventy-five, sixteen. on the graph these are the required points on the graph this point represents 500 this point represents 5598 this point represents 6090 this point represents 6578 This point represents seventy fifty four, and this point represents seventy five sixteen. Now we will join these points by a free hand smooth curve. Now the curve we get by joining these points by a free hand smooth curve is an ogive of more than type. It is also known as cumulative frequency curve. So this completes the session hope you understood the solution 
बाय एंड टेक केयर